everyone. Today we're making a recipe that has been requested a couple of times. This is a traditional fall treat, candied apples, and people have been making these for years and years. So for medium heat, place one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, and one cup of water. Then stir this over high heat and continue to stir until it starts to boil and the sugar is dissolved. And once it's boiling, you can stop stirring and you need to heat this over high heat until the sugar syrup reaches 285 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the soft crack stage. And you can use a candy thermometer. This would be the easiest method, but there is another method of telling you've reached the soft crack stage. And I'll put that information in the description box. So while your candy syrup is boiling, you can prepare your apples. So remove the stem from the apple and then just insert a popsicle stick into the apple about halfway. These are gala apples because it happens to be what I have in the house. You can use whatever apple you prefer. And I also thought I would try doing half apples because sometimes eating an entire candied apple is a little bit too much, especially for kids. So I wanted to try these half apples. So once that mixture has come to 285 degrees Fahrenheit, take it off the heat and then carefully add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of red food coloring. And then stir that in and it might fizz up a little bit, so just do it carefully. Once that's stirred in, you are ready to dip your apples into the sugar syrup. Make sure your apples are nice and dry and then dip the apples into the candy mixture. I just do a little dip and a turn and make sure it's completely coated. Once it's coated, remove it from the syrup and just let it drip off. And I suggest you let as much as you can drip off of the apple because you want to try to make that coating fairly thin so it's just easier to eat. Then you're going to place it on a greased cookie sheet on a cookie sheet covered with greased aluminum foil, or in this case, I'm using my trusty silicone mat. And there I am dipping another apple. You'll find that as the sugar syrup starts to cool a bit, you may get some bubbles in the mixture and you might see those on the apples, but that's okay, They're still, they'll, they'll still be fine. Now for the half apples, the cut apples I was talking about, uh, dip them into the candy mixture. And I found, I guess because of all the moisture on the cut surface of the apple, the sugar just wouldn't stick to it. And also the sugar syrup has started to cool quite a bit at that point. So it didn't really work out very well. I also found that when you put the candy apple half on the cookie sheet, that the cut apple continued to release um, juice and it started to melt the sugar and it was really kind of sticky and messy. So it didn't really work out that great. So if you want to do half apples, use caramel or use chocolate. Now, when you're done with all of the apples, take out as much as you can of that sugar syrup in the bottom. Fill the pan with water, put it on a low heat and just let it heat and all that sugar that's stuck to the pot will dissolve. You can also put it in some hot soapy water and just let it sit and that'll do the same thing. Not that difficult to clean up at all. There are the apples. These are good to eat the same day or the next day at the maximum because the candy will start to absorb moisture from the air and they'll start to get sticky. Now, if you've ever had candy apples, you'll know that these can be really hard to bite into for that first bite. You have to crack through that hard candy shell. So these may not be suitable for really little kids, or you might have to try to get it started for them by cracking this candy shell. Because the candy is so sweet, I find that the best apple to use for this is a tart apple, like a Macintosh. It's a nice complement to all that sugar. So there you go, a traditional Halloween or fall treat, the candied apple. Give it a try. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. And for those of you that are still here and haven't clicked off, I want to tell you about someone super special. Her name is Jolene Sugarbaker, and she is YouTube's Trailer Park Queen. She does some fantastic recipes, some very cool crafts, all on a budget. And she recently posted a video on how to make candy apple muffins. So if you're interested in giving those a try, they look delicious. Click on the video link on your screen in the annotations or go down to the description box and the link will be there as well. She is the very first person I ever subscribed to on YouTube and I've been watching her ever since. So go over there and check her out.